I love YouTube TV. Combined with our Apple TV, YouTube TV gives us way more functionality at a cheaper cost than regular cable TV does. I have a fourth generation Apple TV hardwired to our, our cable modem router. And the reason that is is because I get over 100 megabits per second of download speed, whereas if it's wirelessly connected, I get maybe in the 50 to 60 megabits per second range. YouTube TV costs $40 a month, but we can split it between up to six family members. We are splitting it between four, so it costs each family member $10 a month. And we canceled our cable internet and phone, and we went with just cable. And we got an introductory rate because we had just come back from North Carolina. So we paid $44 a month for cable and 10 for YouTube TV. So the great thing about this is we get all of our normal local stations, plus we get a lot of more premium channels because before we used to have basic cable. Now we get NBC Sports, ESPN, a ton of college football on Saturdays, and our normal Sunday football. And what's really great for me as a mountain biker and a road cyclist, I can record and watch all kinds of cycling events like the Tour de France, UCI cyclocross, UCI road racing. And the best part is I can fast forward through the commercials and I can even fast forward to the very end if I'm not that interested in actually seeing the race. So it's pretty cool. If I just want to see the results, I can go zip to the end and watch just the results and there they are. It's really a great thing for cyclists. And if you were into track and field, there's track and field, Formula One I watch. I do record the New England Patriots football games and you can watch them later although I rarely do. You can search for shows using the Apple TV remote by going back through and forth through the alphabet, but you can also um, hit the speak button and talk to it, which I never seem to remember to do. But I also have an Apple wireless keypad, which I can use to type in what I'm searching for. Then I can add that to my library to be recorded in the future. Now, totally unrelated to YouTube TV, you can actually watch regular YouTube videos for free. Just all you need is your internet connection. You don't need YouTube TV. So I could watch any YouTube video I wanted. I can also watch Red Bull TV, which has a ton of mountain biking and cycling and other events, which is where I watch most of the UCI World Cup mountain bike and downhill races. The winner of this series, the last three years in a row, Aaron Gwynn on track. It's green, over a second in the valleys, it's a huge run. If you don't have the newer fourth generation Apple TV, but have one of the older Apple TVs, YouTube and Red Bull TV work just fine on that. But to actually use YouTube TV, there is no app for it. So you have to use an iPhone or an iPad and beam the signal from the iPhone or iPad to the Apple TV, which is that little button on the upper right hand corner. And you just select your Apple TV to share it to. And there you have it. That's Apple TV shared from your iPad or iPhone to your Apple TV non-version 4, the earlier versions. So that's how we've managed to save a little bit of money anyway and have TV that I think is far superior to what we had before. We actually tried to take this one step further, which was to share our wireless internet with my sister-in-law who lives right over there. Now that's uh, more than 100 feet. And we bought a Netgear router extender kind of thing, which I was hoping would beam the signal over to their house. And we tried it in various different rooms and it would work. They would get signal and they would be able to watch YouTube TV using our internet. But, 
unfortunately it was kind of flaky so that didn't work out we can't share that so I love my Apple TVs. I have both the 4K version and the non-4K version, and I really can't tell much difference between the two. And I also have the Apple II versions, which aren't very good for YouTube TV because you can't actually use YouTube TV on them. You have to beam a YouTube TV signal from somewhere else. In general, I think this is awesome. I like it way better than regular TV used to be. No recording ability and stuff, and I find the YouTube TV app to be very easy to use and understand and then another thing is I can watch YouTube TV anywhere on my iPhone. I just love it so maybe you will too. So I'll put some links to various Apple TVs in the description if you're interested in getting one. You would get YouTube TV online by going to tv.youtube.com I think. Thanks for watching. Oh, almost forgot. YouTube TV will not work on Safari. It will only work on Firefox or Chrome. You'll have to run it from one of those two browsers if you want to watch YouTube on your PC or Mac.